Arcadius have truly changed the RV industry with their interior designs, but now they're changing it with their floor plans. Everybody loves rear kitchens, but the problem is with rear kitchens is it takes away your kitchen island. Well, not in this unit. They were able to accomplish a rear kitchen and a kitchen island in a shorter fifth wheel. This is the 2024 Keystone Arcadia model 3140RK. We're gonna be taking a look at all the features and we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you guys the all new floor plan of the Arcadia. Will they're killing the RV industry and I'm loving it. Before I begin, let's say hi to Will. Hey guys. Hey Will. How's it going? Rocking and rolling. All right guys, I'm so excited to take a look at this Arcadia. They have truthfully built, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful looking fifth wheels. Yes, on the side. yes. And um, a lot of other manufacturers, I think, took a lot of design inspiration from them. So I'm excited to see the new floor plan, and maybe they'll be uh, giving some inspiration to other manufacturers all over again. Well, we're excited to see it. You ready? Yes. Let's begin. All right. Model is 3140RK, Arcadia. The actual tip, tip length of this fifth wheel is 36 feet, 6 inches. Dry weight is 11,040 pounds. Hitch weight is 2,000 pounds, 95 gallons of fresh water, 88 gallons of gray water, 49 gallons of black water. Okay. Well, this is an awesome lightweight fifth wheel. Yep. This is an awesome three quarter ton style fifth wheel, not half ton towable, don't even think that. And even with the three quarter ton, that's 2,000 pounds of hitch weight. It is. Before you load stuff up. If you could do a one ton single reel wheel, that's even better. Yep. But again, most 2,500 should be able to do this but always know before you tell. Right. Beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Keystone Arcadia looks great. I do like the little redesign that they did on the yeah, outside. Yeah, it looks good. But I didn't mind the first one either. I right. always thought it looks good. Kurt pin box right here. And then underneath here is the storage, spare tire, spare tire carrier, and everything. Okay. This is a Keystone. Three year structural warranty. Yep. Very nice. Right over here, you got a little Zamp Solar right there. Okay. Propane tank goes right here. And then you do have four point electric auto leveling. Okay. And then coming on down, well, we got a little bit of storage. Well, first we got a very nice power awning with LED lights. Yeah, that is a nice big awning. Speakers on the outside. And then look at wow. this massive storage. Well, this is more storage than your full profile fifth wheel. Yeah, like width-wise, it's a little bit shorter because it's a mid-pro fifth wheel. Okay. But uh, width-wise is amazing in this for a mid-pro. Yeah, and I love this type of material there. And then right there, Will, we do have the key TV okay. system. If you do want to have cable for the outside. You also have power and the water station. Yep, a little spray port. Coming on down, look at this, Will, for, those, for my big-handed fellows. How do you like this? I like that. That's a nice feature. Yep. Because not everybody, see, look, I can fit all four fingers in well, there. It's, but it's not, it's not about that. It's oh, about it? like reaching over your steps oh. versus just like it's a lot shorter there. So. so even the little finger people can, can yep. use it. Nice solid steps right here. Grab handle, beer opener. Psh, Merca. John Cena. And then right here, well, we've got the peak package, weather protection. That's heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. I love that. There you go. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the high specs. I love those. They are ST235-80R16. Man, and look underneath there. It has the Lippard Road Armor Trail Air Suspension. Very nice. And good looking rims. Yeah. And a power awning with LED lights. second on power side. awning. Yes, sir. Coming around the back, we do have a 300 pound hitch. Um, 300 pounds, so it's good for a bike rack. Yes. Right there, that's your uh, 50 amp service right there and it is prepped for a backup camera, and it does have a one-piece uh, TPO, TPO right? TPO roof with solar and a WineGuard digital yes. antenna and two AC units on it. Okay. Right over here, endless instant hot tankless water I heater. I love that. That's uh, where you're dumping one of your gray tanks right there. Okay. Coming on down. A little bit of storage right there. Yep. You can see the 50 amp cord. Here's where you dump your tanks. And notice this right here. Love this. Yeah, for sure. Here's everything that you want right here. Here's your city water connection, black tank flush, potable water fill, potable. Potable. Everything. 
Ah, good. Your landing gear is right there. Yeah, you saw the sticker. I, yeah, I got a little scared when I saw this. I'm like, don't tell me they put it in there. Nope. Okay, good. Right over here is the other side. Okay. Fantastic. Propane tanks here. And then right here is where you can control your electric leveling. And you can watch as somebody backs up the fifth wheel, you know what I'm saying? For sure. This is a perfect spot. Well, well, the outside of the Arcadia looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Get a couple skips in. I got a couple. You know what's more important than skipping well? Lights. Not having a dead jump box. Yeah. Man. Okay, I'll start up front. Oh, losing my balance. Okay. Up front, you have your live. Or I'm sorry, your bedroom here. Right next to that is the mid bathroom, and then downstairs, you have your living area, dining area, and kitchen, all in one in the rear. And well, before we show everybody the inside, let's take a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the Corps of Engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. And we're back, and you're starting, Will. Okay. Look at this kitchen. Yeah. The worst part about your rear kitchen is not having a kitchen island, and this one it gives really you both. Is. Yeah. We'll start over here. Yep. Okay, and something else that we really, like, kind of miss about our, our, or that we don't like about the rear kitchen is not having, like, that coffee nook. Yeah. Coffee and with this, you really get that as well. Storage underneath. Yes, sir. I love the cabinetry in here. It looks very nice. And is that wallpaper or tile? This is wallpaper. Okay, okay. That's like a plastic. Other side of the storage. Solid surface countertops throughout the entire kitchen. Yeah. And storage there, and then your breakers and fuses right there. Perfect. Over here you have a nice pantry, and this is like a chalkboard thing, so you can write your grocery list or whatever on there. And then on this side, you have storage on either side of the microwave. You see that? Above that. Oh, yep. Above the microwave, you have a nice wine rack. And a big Furion microwave. Very oh. nice. Nice window there to let in some natural light. Three burner Furion cooktop. I like this because it is a traditional like RV stove and cooktop, but it's a little like fancier, higher end looking. You got uh, countertop space on both sides of the oven. Oven's right here. Yeah, so here's the question, Will. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna let the cat out the bag. Okay. Um. Coley Brady's asking us about some changes. Mm -hmm. And this would, remember how he talked about yeah. the stainless steel first the black? Mm -hmm. And we're all like stainless steel, easy, done. Yeah. The black doesn't look bad. No, it doesn't look bad. I, I prefer the stainless you st steel. You still do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Even with this light color? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, here's what I will say. That's like saying, do you want a Ferrari or a Bentley? Like you can't right. go wrong with either one. All right. Nice side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator right here. So it is all Furion appliances, which is really nice. Yes. Again, we don't we don't care for, like, obviously we like Furion, but right. we don't even care for that. We, we just like the uniformity. Yeah, for sure. Nice faucet here. Big single bowl sink. Really good countertop space. I, I really like these countertops a lot. Hey! That's $276 trash cans. It is. And then here... You got a little, um... That's not a hair curler. What is that? Uh, oh, paper, paper towel, towel holder. Yeah. But see, the, the one in Brink... See, no, I... I don't want to make this a dislike. Pull that out again. Okay. See, the one Brinkley does... Yeah, you gives you a I, base. Yeah. So you can do it two ways. 
This you just leave them in here, but yeah. that is annoying because then each time, just to grab a paper towel, you gotta open the drawer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did I do this already? You did. Okay. And then four drawers right here. So nice, Will. Yeah. Right there, and finishing it up right here. Nice. Something. Something... Oh, go nope. ahead. Nope. I was going to say something else I really like is just the detail in the cabinetry, the molding there. And they used to do a flip up countertop, but they don't do that anymore. Or maybe just not on this floor plan. Possibly, yep. Something else that I like that I, I notice, if you uh, want to reset that, is the flush floor. Yes, on not very one nice. side, but two sides. Yep. Over here, I love the way the Oops. windows look. Hold on, hold on. It's like... See, I told you it's acting up. There we go, that was my fault. Okay, okay. go ahead. Uh, I love the windows. I love the way these things look. And I love this. Now, per it's funny because, like, like I wouldn't want to have these. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you wouldn't. But I do appreciate the way they look. They Does do look nice, sense? yeah. Right over here, we have a nice table and chairs. That's very nice. big boy tested. Big boy approved right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very spacious. Um, I will say to get four big boys is not... You know, but, no, but again, I mean, you got yeah, you're plenty good. of space, mm -hmm. and then across will we got some theater seats right here. Okay, these theater seats are very nice, they are electric. Are they electric? They sure are. I bet you they're not. I can see that they are. I bet you they're not. Oh, for the flip out, it might not be, but but I don't even see that. It's not electric flip out. It's uh, just massage. It there, there you go. go. So who wins the bet? Well, they are electric, but they're but also no. parachute. But we, we were talking so it's a about net neutral. we were talking about the flip out, and you know that too. Cup holders there. Wireless phone charger here. Very nice. Very comfortable. There's well. a pull out down here as well. Show us. There you go. Nice. And this does sit directly across from the TV entertainment center right here. Okay, I like this because I can access this. Got your uh, TV right here, YouTube, Amazon Prime, all on the smart TV with the storage right there. Fantastic. Yep. Okay, we got a Furion soundbar and a fireplace, which does produce heat from electricity. Okay, and then to wrap it all up, we got a lot more storage up here. Yes. The way they made this flow together is very, very nice. Good mirror on the wall and a very nice looking sofa. Yeah. Contemporary is the word, right? Yeah, I think or so. Or modern mm -hmm. or just trendy, you know? This actually does come out to make a bed as well, but it's very nice and comfortable. And even though I'm at a horrible TV watching position, I feel like this is how you would be sitting on this. Yeah. Goodwill. Well, well, you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this unit is... $92,648. It's pretty pricey. MSRP. Yeah. Sale price. Miss Jennifer, please put the sale price right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. And Will. Yeah. It's a little pricey as well. Yeah. Guys, you can go to any dealership in the world and get that price, truthfully. But I know we can do a better price than that. So if you're interested in buying an Arcadia from us, all you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Will, and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys. And they will get you one thing and one thing only. And, Will, do you know what that is? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, head on up to that bathroom. Okay. Head on up to that bathroom, Will. Head on up to that bathroom. Okay, before we do that, look at all these electric components. I love how they're buttons and not a digital screen that we need to wait a million minutes for. Well, they used an Encore shower. Now, this is probably one of the smallest Encore. That is the worst Encore shower I've ever seen. But it's still an Encore. And you still have plenty of width and depth. And you have a skylight in a great place. So this definitely passes. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. Sure is. Will, saying that's the worst Encore I've ever seen, that's like saying the worst Ferrari I've ever right. seen. Like, bro, 
It's still a Ferrari. Right. Nice mirror and medicine cabinet. A little bit of storage right there. Okay. We got liquefied our random nice. army toilet tank treatment. Guys, please pick up some on Amazon. Look up liquefied RV toilet treatment or go to primepoopposition.com to get a bottle. We have a very nice sink. And well, we got some exciting things coming out in about two weeks with that. Yeah. Nice uh, little storage there. A little storage there. Wait until you guys see. We have a big 2024 coming along. We do. You think we'll become millionaires off that? Probably not. I guess we can change the song. I want to be a thousandaire. All right. <laughs> so freaking bad. <laughs> Buy all of the McDonald's I could have. <laughs> <laughs> Pour some toilet. Rub it against the wall. Yeah. Well, this is not a prime poop position. Womp womp. Can I be honest with you, though? What? We appreciate everybody who's buying liquid. We do, yes. And, um... You know, we'll never be there. We'll never be the Camcos and stuff like that. Right. But I, I do think we can make a little dent in the RV market on having a company that's small, U.S. company filled with good people. Yep. With a product that's 100% made in America. And you know what? That is the most important thing. That is. So thank you, everybody. Right over here in the bedroom, king size bed. How yes. You doing? Two windows on both sides. Nice looking headboard. Okay. Very good look. You even have a little bit of storage on that end right there. You do, yep. And then huge storage underneath the bed. Yep. Okay. Right over here, we do have very nice storage up front. We have a place for a washer dryer. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Tons of space in here. It's actually a great closet. This really, really is. And then over here... You got a little place to sit, oh, put your shoes on. Underneath. Hold on. A little bit of storage. Okay. Check that out. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, good looking blind in here. Yes. Not that one right there. And a TV that's mounted here. And Will, I messed up. What's that? I didn't think about as many dislikes. I know, I was just thinking the same thing. But that's it, Will, and that's the review. Now, before people leave, we have to figure out three things we like and three things we don't like. Will, what do you want to do first? You want to do the dislikes first? Well, we I know we got one on the yep. outside. Well, dislike number one for me is going to be the four-point electrical leveling. This is the same exact length as your first fifth wheel yes. at 36 feet, 6 inches. The four point was not enough. You truly need six point. Right. Now, with this being lighter weight and cheaper, I don't mind the electric. I'm not knocking it for the electric, but it should be six point auto leveling on any style of fifth wheel. That's just like number one. What's this like number two? Will, you got to give me number two while I think about number two. Okay. Oh, I can tell you. What? The bathroom overall is just small. It is. And again, I'm complaining. And again, it is what it is. And truthfully, it's unfair for this unit. But that toilet placement was just really bad. But it's a compliment, Will, because it is very hard to find dislikes about this unit. Yeah. So that's dislike number two. And then, Will, tell me dislike number three. By the way, we never mentioned the exposed wood look. Yeah. Again, everything about this unit looks good. It's built good. It's priced good. That's what's so tough about this. I know. Give me a dislike number three. Well, figure it out. I or like or I can go. If if you got a stretch, I'll stretch with you. Okay. Like, so we both do it? Yeah. We'll do a combo. It's a stretch, but this countertop is significantly lower than this one. And this would be, like, very hard for me to cook it because it's just so low. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. So, and I've seen this before in, like, travel trailers. Right. So I don't think I've seen that in a fifth wheel. Okay, yeah, that, hey, I'm not going to lie to you. That's a stretch. Yeah. But, again, mine was a stretch as well. I don't like these chairs at all. Yeah. Yes, they're big boy tested, big boy approved. I don't like this style of chair. I feel like, even though there's plenty of space, I don't like the way they look, the way they're angled. Not only that, in a floor plan like this, it, it should be two chairs here with the bench seat there. Yep. And again, guys, we want I want to apologize first and foremost. 
I hate doing crappy dislikes. I know. Like, I want to give you guys real dislikes, like that auto leveling. Mm-hmm. That's a real dislike. That's a real, real dislike. But again, like it's such a great solid unit for for the market that it's competing in. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. May I steal your thunder? This rear kitchen. Yeah. Love it. Love a rear kitchen. Love the way it's formatted. But to get the rear kitchen and this kitchen island, and then that, no, that is number one. May I go again? Sure. The look, the finishes, the features, the styles. Right. This is what everybody's been trying to copy. It's this unique style. It is. Saying? It's, it's a modern day style. It's, we're done with brown, brown, and brown. By the way, this is all brown. But that's beautiful shades it of brown. It is, yeah. Arcadia is the first brand that we've known of that says, hey, let's not use brown. Let's use opaque. Right. And two-pick. And, you know, redwood offspring of cedar branch. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't know colors or whatever. But, you know, let's not just say lot brown, dark brown, medium brown. Right. Like, really strategize your browns. And as you can see, fantastic. Yep. That is like number two. Well... Give me a like number three. Like number three, I'm going to give it to that front closet. And the front storage the underneath. Front storage. Um, for being a mid-pro, that's one of the best closets and one of the most, or the biggest storage compartments underneath I've 100, seen. 100,000%. Yes. That's it. That's easy it. Breezy. Will, easy breezy. A man of few words. <laughs> that's it, y'all. That's the review. Don't worry, Will. I'll make up the words for okay. you. <laughs> that's, if you guys are interested in buying an Arcadia, click our link down below. We are with General RV and we sell them nationwide. I'm telling you now, please shop us. You know what? I, I don't even say this. Compare us to other dealerships. Nobody in the country will ever be able to beat our prices. Not on Keystones, not on any brand. So if you're interested in this Arcadia, reach out to my team. They'll know that you're a viewer of Match RV Reviews, and they're going to get you the absolute best price in America. And if you guys do buy, send me an email, and I'll mail you a bobblehead. Yes. Burr, 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 burr. Will, what say you? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. This is such a beautiful unit on the inside, and I absolutely love this rear kitchen floor plan. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much for you. watching, and we'll, we'll, we'll see you next time.